Jack O'Connor, SIP2, uh, 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 speaking on the motion. Uh, I want first of all to say that it's uh, very clear that it was the vigilance of the Labour Party and none other that prevented the sale uh, 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 of the last week. Uh, now, I, I, I met Willie Walsh along on a, as part of a Congress delegation, uh, along with Stephen Kavanagh, the new head of uh, Aer Lingus, last Monday. And uh, there is a big focus on the transatlantic. Uh, insofar as it goes, I, I, at least what they're saying is rational. We have to learn a great deal more about it before we're able to make a judgment on it. But we also need to focus on short haul which underpins a great many jobs in Aer Lingus and which is also important in the wider context for Ireland. And in this regard, I have to say that I am extremely concerned about the obvious enthusiasm of Michael O'Leary for this particular proposition, because I wonder why he, why he would be supporting a proposition which would, on the face of it, as, if we were to believe what they're saying, strengthen the position of one of his competitors. He's not known for that kind of generosity, as far as I can recall. <laughs> there, there is no simple answer to this, because we have to think that while Aer Lingus would survive and prosper in the short term, no doubt, what happens after uh, uh, Ryanair is forced ultimately, after they run out of courts to frustrate the process, when they're ultimately forced to sell their shares? What happens then? And we have to try to think beyond that. Uh, the best outcome, undoubtedly, is for the government to hold the 25.1% shareholding and perhaps for IAG to buy the majority shareholding and see how things develop from then. The, the point two in the motion relating to registered employment agreements, which would apply in law and also incidentally in contract, to, to pro preclude the outsourcing of jobs and compulsory redundancies is more important than people think. Because, you see, if they mean to do what they say they're doing, they'll be able to enter into those agreements. If they have another agenda or they're not sure of what they're saying, they won't be able to enter into those agreements. And, and that is, to a certain degree, these agreements are the litmus test of, 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 of what they're saying. And the last thing I'd say is, of course, is that the time to prevent the sale of Aer Lingus was when the majority shareholding was sold, not now when the, when the horse has bolted. And there are a lot of late converts that weren't there in the battle then. We welcome them, but it's late in the day. I support the motion as far as it goes. Thank you very much, delegates. Thank you very